Hello everyone, welcome to MTX Moto Tracks. I'm Insetic, with me today is Blank Tester. Hey guys, how's it going? And two new guests who wanted to be on just for this game. Say hello to United Movie Maker. Hello. And Jersey Jimmy. Hey! Yeah. So oh, MTX yeah. Moto Tracks is a 2004 motocross racing game released for the Xbox original. I'm not going to get used to that. Released for the original Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PC. And PSP. Actually. It got a PSP port. Oh. oh. Really? Okay. Yeah. So both Movie Maker and Jimmy know a lot about the game. Remember the game yeah, very I've, fondly. So they. I got this game opening day. <laughs> yeah. um, really? I specifically remember, because it came out on my birthday, and I got it at the New York City Toys R Us. Wow. Um, so we'll just create a quick character and get it started right here. I think yep. about to hit continue. Nice yeah, throw. If you think you're ready to compete, now's your chance to prove it. You're on a team and all set to take your first steps in real competition. Here's your PDA. It lets you keep in contact with your team, sponsors, and choose what events you want to do. Uh, you can look at your bike, riding gear, and make changes you want for the next time you ride. There's an email from your team manager waiting for you. So, that was great animation. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, let's have yeah. this meeting in so, the stadium. So, uh, yeah, 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 in the stadium. Like, how did I get here? Uh, he was <laughs> this is where here. everyone starts, don't you know? Anyway, yeah, you were so born here. You have stadium. no memories because you have no past. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna. You can skip the tutorial if you want, but we're gonna jump straight into the first. Hey, I'm glad you level. can make it. Let me give you a quick tour before we get started. There's my house over there, and down the hill's the garage. There's a foam pit over there that I use for practicing tricks. I have a moto track that goes through the trees over here. Riding that really helps me get ready for the race series. Man, I've got ramps set up all over this place. Most of them are set up with some really soft, easy landings so you can practice the tricks for the freestyle competitions. Hey, whenever you're ready, meet me down the start gate at the motocross track. We'll see how well you handle real racing. Was that Travis Pastrami? Yeah, yep, yeah that, was, that was tra that was Travis Pastrami. Travis Pastrami. Travis, Travis Panini. <laughs> yeah, tra Travis Panini. So, I should say that for this channel I haven't really played, and just really kind of in general, I haven't really played a lot of these stadium racing supercross games. There's a lot out there, but hmm. obviously I've kind of focused so far on the games that are more wild or extreme in one way or another. Yeah, oh. also nice job. Yeah, Good first start job, there. Right I gotta the say, that one I mean, was, that's a strong window. That one was intentional, this one wasn't. <laughs> oh. You got some strong trees in this place. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's just a lot of motocross games that are based around, you know, racing around stadiums, maybe some tricking aspects. This is just a really solid game. It gets basically everything right. I mean, I have a few minor complaints that I'll bring up eventually, but overall, really good. I'm really enjoying this one. Hmm. I mean, it's an Activision game, so... Yeah. So, let's meet up with Travis and maybe learn some Try to, of the controls try to get on what the we're line. doing. This is a cool little training track I set up. All the features you find in a real race event, complete with a start gate and a finish line. After the 30 second board goes sideways, there's a 2 to 5 second pause before the gate drops. Don't jump the gun. To get a burst to speed off the line, lean forward by pushing up and hit the gas when you see the signal go. Every race event starts this way, so practice this technique until you can do it perfect every time. Yeah. You know, I should probably point this out real quick. Um, in the Xbox version, they use the right trigger as the gas. But in yes. the PlayStation 2 version, they use the X button. Oh, really? I think that's just standard procedure yeah. for the like, PS2, all the racing games. Cause... Didn't it just give you the R... Oh, wait, no, you're playing on... No, yeah, this, this is, is Xbox. Xbox. Oh, yeah. Which is weird, because don't you like always play on PS2? Usually it does Where play you... on PS2, but this one's on yeah. Xbox. That's interesting. Yeah. They switched huh. it to X for the PS2? But yeah, X is yeah. usually go. On the Xbox, uh, yeah, right trigger is go, and then there's kind of a pre-winding mechanic, if you remember from ATV Off-Road Fury 2, where you can kind of yeah. get ready to sort of jump and like get higher air off the jumps. 
that you Yeah, can, but it's like more automatic. Yeah, that you can um, see on that bar on the bottom right, and that's controlled by either the left thumbstick or the A button. You have some racing hmm. skills. Which would be the X button on the PS2. Hmm. Yeah. And you think you can beat me twice? I'll race you again. That, but yeah, this seems first. really strange. See are there I any... Are the controls configurable at all? Uh, I don't think so. Not but, in this I mean, generation. controls make sense. And then, like, so at the start of this, I'm kind of playing it like maybe someone would play the first time. Mm. You know, not using all the mechanics, getting tripped up by things like... <laughs> if you saw the first lap, this weird section with all these bumps that slowed you way the flip down. Uh, it explains this in a loading screen. It should probably explain this in the tutorial, but if you hold back as you ride over those bumps, you'll keep most of your speed. Oh. Which you'll want to know, because literally, like, every stadium track has a section like that. Sure. Yeah. And most motocross um, tracks. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the Nationals. Yeah, I think so. Hey, man. Travis tells me you know a couple Hey, things. it's Cowboy Redneck. He was in a Florida Georgia Line video, Kenny Marshall. Oh, this basic course was will he? help you get used to the rhythm of yeah. freestyle. Yeah, that's, that's credibility right there. Yeah. That's how you know he's a real redneck. So, was that Kenny G? Yeah, that was Kenny G. Uh, so along with the racing component, obviously there's a tricking aspect as well. There will be freestyle events, basically tricking for points, again, pretty standard. Um, but this game's got quite a big trick list and quite a lot that you can do. So, this, you, you know, they're getting you introduced to it as well, but freestyle will be a definite part of this game. Over half of the tricks, well, not over half, I think, but a good chunk of the tricks are just lander variations, like no handed landers and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's so it's, there's really that... more like 65, 70 tricks. That was pretty cool. I'll probably explain that once we get to that. Um, because a new person would not know about those at all. Yeah, but if you check the trick book, Actually, a lot of the tricks are locked to you at the beginning. In fact, most of them are. You have to learn new tricks either by doing more freestyle events or discovering them throughout the free ride levels. There'll be some jumps where literally, you know, that's how you learn a new trick. You find Travis a specific right. jump. You've got some skills. Let's see just how good you are, though. Try beating my high score. Yep, that's definitely a real good voice acting job. It's a good objective, but too. Are you going to have to beat his six score? That's a real question. Yeah, yeah. Is he sick see. enough to call it a six score? No, Let's it's see. an extreme score. No, no, he's a redneck. Is he uh, purdy enough? Oh, but I don't know. I, I see. It would be the yeehaw score. <laughs> oh. All I right. guess that's what we're doing. So, the way freestyle events work, and the game will actually tell you that... Well, actually, let me explain part Sorry, start the two. The way freestyle events work is obviously you get some points for each trick. No single trick except for the hugest ones are worth a lot. But obviously you see as I do different tricks, there's a multiplier that starts increasing how many overall points you get. And so the game will explain this later, but do basic tricks, start getting your multiplier up, and then your bigger tricks will be worth even more points because you'll be getting six times, eight times, ten times the base points on them. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Um, but if you keep doing the same tricks, then your multiplier just doesn't add up. Yeah. And I think you get yeah. less or points. Or it starts going down. Interesting. Yeah. Or if That's you crash, setup. you lose your multiplier completely. I see. But that was great! I think you're ready for competition. I'll let Travis know, maybe he'll put in a good word for you, get you into the next event. Yeah. Where, where so is he because... looking? He was looking away from the camera. Yeah, he was looking uh, towards so you. Of that, yeah. Oh, I, I do need to say something, though. So, now Travis is riding around on a race that we're gonna do with him. Mm -hmm. But you have to find him and catch him to do that race. Uh, that's probably a small downside. I'd have preferred... Oh god, he just bumped into you! I'd have preferred him to be in one place, so I was waiting for him. But I was accidentally still in... Kenny, you know, don't Kenny's interrupt! Race, oh. So I restarted that. So, now I've got to catch up to Travis, and I know he's gonna go around this bend. Um... So I'm gonna go and try to cut him off at the pass, but uh, doesn't exactly go right. Uh. <laughs> MTX Moto Tracks. Yeah, this is a good game. That's good. No, that's I, how programming works. I have works. to say, you fell first down play into through, the sky. first playthrough, no glitches. That's the first glitch I've really come across. Hmm. It's special for this video. Hey, you jumped 200 feet. You land. 
And, all right, the game kind of forces my hand. There are some, you know, <laughs> general objectives, like jump a specific feat, wheelie a specific, you know, feat. In the free ride events, normally you ride around finding people to talk to and give you challenges, but there's some that are global, basically. Yeah, so it's kind of like a mix of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 yeah. kind of styles. Yeah, but just like I showed there, some jumps, that'll be the only way you can learn a trick, because there's five tricks hidden in each freestyle free ride level. And that was BS right there. I don't know what I crashed on. Uh, music, as you can hear, is a standard hard rock mix. Yeah. Disturbed, Static X, Faith No More, uh, Il Nino, and Dope have a bunch of songs in the game, which yeah, you they don't have really a hear lot. those bands anymore. Kenny's hooked but... you up with some sick tricks, but if you really want to go big, you need the backflip. Not everyone on the circuit's going to be doing it. It'll give you the edge. All right, you're all lined up for the foam pit. Now remember, it's impossible to get hurt in there. Well, one guy got hurt once, but he didn't exactly land in it. You know, I got video of that. I'll upload it to your PDA later. <laughs> it's worth checking out. All right, now to do a backflip, go right for the foam pit. Lean forward, then pull back on the handlebars you're leaving the ramp. Remember, don't let go. It's just foam. Yeah. And here we learn at the time what was basically what I can tell the 900 of the motocross world. No, that was a doing a backflip. Um, so this is at the start kind of your soup, you know, pocket super secret maneuver you use to get all the points. That was a nice move. I'm gonna see if I can hmm. pull a few strings and get you into the next Yeah. Event. It's just a cool Actually, this game. Thing. This game came out in like 2004, so I'd say like the hey, 900 of motocross around this time is a 360. That was the big thing everybody was trying to do with X Games 9. Oh. I mean, they just uh, hype they just hype this move up by having, you know... Oh, here you go. Travis explains, you know, build up multipliers and then bust the big tricks last. Yep. Man, Travis Pastrami has a great face in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Everyone kid, has great faces. I'll give you five bucks for every lap you ride a wheelie around this bus. To pull a wheelie, lean back and tap the gas. When the front wheel's up, tap the gas to keep the wheelie up. Steer the wheelie by leaning left and right. To stop, just let go of the gas or lean forward by pushing up. All right, so there's wheelies in this game, but honestly, they're kind of a novelty. Like, they don't do shit. It's not like you can link bad. jumps together or something. You, blew it. you just you want a sandwich or can something? do them. <laughs> You want a sandwich? Did you ever Kid, get your sandwich? I'll give you five bucks. Oh. I guess not. You can see, like, the quick start option, if you don't want to go through the guy's, like, ten text boxes, just hit that. That's nice. But yeah, wheelies, you know... That would ruin every them. RPG. You can start them, and if you don't have any speed, they're really tough. Because uh, you basically gotta do, like, a balancing act, but, like, it's honestly tougher than... Right. You want <laughs> trying to keep like your balance in a lot of cool. other games. I'll bet you can oh, you got five dollars. Could have done it more. It would have been infinite money. I like how I like how it told you you've been awarded five dollars, but it was telling you that in the same box that he was speaking. So it looks like he's like talking. He's like, "Nice moves, dude." And then it looks like he says, "You have been awarded been five dollars." Five dollars. I am not a robot. I have given Take you my money. currency. Yeah. Ow. Um. So. In this game, I'll try to do all the, uh, you know, challenges in each free ride event and get the five hidden uh, tricks in each one as well. And drive into the water? Yeah, and I'll show off all the water hazards in the game. You oh know? my Alright, gnarly. Don't promise no. something, you know, that you, <laughs> yeah. you can't actually... Don't make a promise if you know you can't keep yeah, don't it. Don't make a boy a promise if you know you can't keep it. Alright, you found Don't me. make a sweet, soft now, boy a promise. Do you remember everything you can do on the training track? Sweet You're bike gonna boy. need it to beat me this time. There's eight jumps in this race, and each is a little bit different. He didn't say three, two, one, go. The first kicker ramp is just past the trick training area. Hit it at full speed if you want to clear the creek. If you don't want to clear the creek, though. <laughs> the second big kicker <laughs> yeah, ramp is on your way back towards for the it. trick training area. Just aim for the side if you don't want to clear the creek. Aim for that mountain there. Kenny. You'll see the third ramp built into the dirt. I like Kenny is a landmark. There's another ramp right over here. Oh, 
Oh, the line I'm pointing out is coming up. The line that he sounds so sad Over there's on. the fifth ramp. It's just past the puddle. It's a small one. That line. It's a small one. This is my favorite. I don't even have enough money to... Oh, this one! That. Jesus Christ. On the the earth it's a on small one. one. That wasn't a small one. Yeah. Take a hard right turn, and you'll be lined up for jump number seven. When you're still in the air on jump number seven, you'll locate the final jump. Then it's just a short blast to the finish line. That was a lot to take in. I, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love how they went through every single part of the track. It would have been nice yeah. if they had just told you that, like, as you were yeah, going Yeah, you didn't point out the trees. Uh, I mean, uh, would you really want to race, like, ten seconds and then get stopped again? No, no, I like, if nah. he was talking to you during this drive. Oh. Well, I mean, once you start pulling ahead, you'll just hear, like, I assume he's talking in your ear. Tel telepathy. It's like, what, Travis? I can't hear you. What are they selling? Yeah. Um, so, you know, a thing you could do in this game, and a thing in motocross, is that you can control kind of the distance of your jump hmm. by... They call it a whip. Um, basically, move, you know, making yourself sideways, I guess, giving yourself a smaller airframe or something. But hmm. you can use the left thumbstick in the air to basically do that and get a little further, or like hold up and basically slam down into the ground. Hmm. Um, or don't die. Yeah, or at least, you know, go down to the ground more. Like if you're gonna, you know, overshoot on a jump or such. Because a lot of, you know, the Supercross and Nationals is gonna oh. be, you have, you know, you have these jumps, and you'll see once you get there if you don't know what we're talking about, but if you've seen any stadium motocross race, you'll have these lines with a bunch of jumps, and you'll have to figure a way through them to basically go off one, land on the back of another, smoothly go through it, rather than, you know, hitting the top of every jump and getting jiggled around. Right. Because that's gonna be a lot slower than getting a clean line. And, again, if you've seen... Um, not bad, you kicked my ass, but not bad. Yeah. So I think... Uh, I've always, in both the playthroughs, I've always just done this level completely before doing anything else. Uh, I think, you know, that first race versus him, once you complete that, you can go to the motocross or nationals events, or supercross or motocross, or god damn it. <sighs> supercross or nationals. Um, and then if you hang out with Kenny and do the free right freestyle events there, you get access to the first freestyle level. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm not speaking very well. But uh, I tried to hit this jump. This is how you should jump 200 meters, not fall through the ground and just whatever. I mean... 200 feet. I'm just bad at this. Like, it's you fine. Like, you know, right just here. 200 feet, whether you're under the ground or above the ground, doesn't matter. 200 yeah. feet under. Yeah. yeah, 200 feet under. Like six yeah, feet under. Yeah, ground and get yeah. into the sky. It's easy. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Give me jump 35 times your, that. Jump straight into your grave. There's yeah. a challenge there. You like that slow turn? Yeah, what's up, man? I really like that. At the yeah. top of this little hill is Travis's private lagoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what's up with Life's voice. greatest mysteries. See if you can make it through the two trees at the top. <laughs> there he is. Travis is private. Yeah. Yeah. Travis Pastrana is a sensei. Yeah. Confirmed. Here I am. What, but, My name is what, Harry. Harry. <laughs> and I'm good at voice acting. <laughs> yeah. What Travis doesn't know is I've skinny. That was an That's awful right. karate chop. <laughs> I've put both balls in his lagoon. Oh. Uh, Fifth so, base, man. An event that I think will show up in some of the free ride levels I haven't actually gone all the way through the game is a hill climb type of event, which, um, Whoa. basically, yeah, really steep surface, and you gotta basically You're bouncing be all over the place. quick on the gas and brake and trying to ride over rough obstacles. So, so basically and... you play this like you're playing an Elder Scrolls game. Oh my god, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I was bringing up RPGs yeah. before. Yeah, like, yeah. this is basically... This is a solid third of how I spent my time in Oblivion and Skyrim. <laughs> Smashing the jump button and, <laughs> and running into a wall. It's like Skyrim yeah. with motorcycles. Yeah. There it is. It's like the Minecraft private lagoon. That's before a lagoon. they put stairs in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Travis's private lagoon. And this is Travis's secret teleportation warp coming up. 
Oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Um, you like, you as you flew can... to the side of the, the mountain there. You didn't like fall yeah. through. Yeah. Well, what else you got here? Yeah, we still got some challenges left to discover. Two of them, but I know where they are. Um, they're in there. Yeah, they're in there. Actually, the first time I played the game, I tried to do the jump onto the garage roof and crashed and warped into the garage, and I was so confused. Uh, you crashed through the roof. There's a challenge in there, uh, you know, we're gonna get in there the normal way this playthrough, but I was like, how the hell, then, where am I? What am I doing? You know? Uh, but yeah, this is how you wheelie 400 feet or whatever. Um, other things, you can see there's kind of a graphic, once you crash you get some dirt on your back or such. It's like one single solid graphic, no like dynamic changes or whatever, but hey, you know, some That's kind of neat. Not that neat. How neat but yeah, is that? On this, on this jump I like crashed and just warped straight into the building. Oh. Yeah. Well maybe you crashed through the roof. Yeah, I like crashed on the roof and I guess, I don't know, like... I went through a skylight in the game's code or something. I don't know, man. I've started talking like Harry now. Oof. Ow, oof, ouch. Ooh, my bones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here we go, yeah. Once we make it inside, we can find this little brat. This little sheesh head. Oh, oh, little sheesh. I'm hiding from my mom. I what? My homework. I love how he has just a little kid head. voice, but he's as big as you. He's exactly the same size. <laughs> He's like this, just this six foot two, three hundred pound guy. You think he's a really like a big young child, or like a late teenager with a really young voice? I've seen both. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I currently, I currently know both of those archetypes. Yeah. So I guess this. Oh, I'll do this once he finishes. Go. Yeah, there we go. There he says, "Ready, set, go," and then Ready, you gotta wait. Ready, set, go. So I guess this is Travis's son. I don't know yeah. if his actual son. I have no idea. Um, no, but Travis was like 22 when this game came out. Huh. His but, son. Uh, well, his son was an um, embryo or something, because. Yeah, his son. Yes, you're racing you. an embryo. And I gotta say, there is no shame to losing this event, because this kid is literally tougher to beat than like the first few tournaments you'll go to. Like, first time playing the game, I lost him over and over. I actually scrapped a recording of this level due to trying him out, like, second challenge and failing, like, five times in a row. Hey, man, he doesn't want to do course, his homework. On, of course, on this playthrough, I beat him first try. Easy. Uh, yeah, but this kid, like, if you lose to him a bunch of times, no shame. It's really hard for some well, reason. Well, no shame from Insetic. No shame from Insetic. Are you going to shame him? I will shame him. Okay, Blank Tester feels sorry for you. No, shame. I'm. It feels shame for you. Yeah. Gotcha. You can't oh, they does now. this. You got oh. oh, you thought that was good? No. He's gonna blow up the no. building in 90 Wait, seconds. Wait, your ass. This kid. He rigged it to blow. Just kidnapped you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Damn. He, like, reverse kidnapped, because he's the kid. Man now. And I'm the adult. <laughs> Man now, yeah. So how we get out, get out of here? Well, the same way we came in. Only problem, uh... Glitched through the wall. Yeah. We just have to ride across this narrow beam and... Oh, uh, shit. Oh, uh, man, Honestly, this is like this flashbacks is... to Quad Power Racing 2. I was thinking this is flashbacks to Hillbike Boredom. That yeah. too. Flashbacks to... I, I'm, honestly, I'm having flashbacks to Freestyle Metal X. I expect to get on that beam and start ass-wiggling back and forth. <laughs> Yeah. But no, this challenge is harder than you think, mainly because there is no precision driving mechanic. Mm. Uh, this, this is game. why you shouldn't try to drive a dirt bike in like a skate park. Okay, this is why you shouldn't drive a dirt, dirt bike. I don't know. I want to. I want to like get in a. That kid's head was really door just whipped through that kid. He should have yeah. been like blown off. You should. You should catapulted him into the tour bus. Oh, okay, yeah. so yeah. those those counted as the two. Okay. Yeah, those are Team the Rocket two. just. Just out so of yeah, there. All we have are uh, a couple more of the secret tricks to find, and yeah, I should say, I really like this game. Like, it's a really solid entry in it. You know, like I said, my or entry in, you know, the motocross type of game. Like I said, 
I played a bit of the stadium racing kind of game with that ATV off-road Fury before, but that was uh, kind of simple, and honestly, the tricking didn't really have a big part in that. Like, they were freestyle, but that was horrible in that game. Here, they actually strike a really good balance without making it like, you need to do tricks to get boost or anything like that. Um, the racing is going to be... I won't say complex, but you need to try and get a good line, you know, you need to try and do it well. The freestyle events, you need to know a lot of the tricks to win those. Um, and everything is pretty solid. I'd say, for complaints, the most major one I have is that on some corners, you just won't really turn. Um, yeah, the turning is kind of out of control in this game. But like... It, it's it's it, it'll be so bad that you'll look at the game, then at your controller, then at the game, then at your controller, and go, "What the heck was that?" But like, which one's it lying? Won't, it won't happen there, like on a second lap again. It'll happen somewhere else randomly. Huh. I mean, uh, it's like kind of accurate to real life motocross. It's like a kind of like out of control sort of experience. Yeah. So, but again, like the turning works on most of the time. Like everything works most of the time. Just. Sometimes, if you're riding in a weird place, you'll just go through the floor. I don't know. But again, that was the first and only time that's happened. Uh, yeah. Or you just won't turn and you'll slide off into the barriers. But you, you know, it won't happen the next time. Uh, yeah, you unlock a bunch of movies for basically doing stuff. And since we beat the first free ride level, yeah, now we can go to any of the other events. So, next video we'll go to the first freestyle event, um, and show that off, and then we'll actually get to the racing in part three. But yeah, MTX Moto Tracks. I know there's a lot of these games out there and I've kind of been putting them off, so I'm gonna have to get to them, but like this, the MX vs. ATV series, you know, I'm planning on doing at least one from that series as well. It's you got new Motocross Madness? Uh, I've got Motocross Mania. Does that huh. count? <laughs> uh, not really. <laughs> it's nice yeah, to you play a game. Swing... Honestly, I've never even heard of Motocross Mania. Swinging baseball bats into people isn't, uh... Oh, jeez. Motocross Mania. But anyway, I'll look that up. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming along, movie maker Jimmy. Sure thing. No problem. Yep. And, uh... And we'll see you all next commenters, time. Commenters? Commenters? Tell me if I sucked in the comments. Tell me if you want jump off the bridge. No. So, I can use the feedback. Yeah. That'd be rude. Do not do that.